Hi, I'm Rick Reef. Welcome to Inside OC. Green jobs. President Obama and Governor Brown say they're the future. But critics see red, lost taxpayer dollars, and some even claim lost jobs. David Nazar is here with a report, and then the Consider This panel will debate. And the panel also examines the guilty verdicts against Muslim students who shouted down the Israeli ambassador. But first, the budget battle in Costa Mesa. The city has drawn national attention as ground zero in the showdown between cash-strapped cities and their public employee unions. Joining me, no strangers to this show, Costa Mesa Councilman Jim Regheimer and Orange County Labor Leader Nick Berardino. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. So uh, you're trying, uh, Jim, to uh, outsource uh, a lot of union jobs uh, in order to cut costs. How's that going? It's, it's taken a longer process than we thought. I mean, part of the process that we have in there is having to put together RFPs, having to work those with the requests for, the request for proposals to go out there to do it. And those are finally going out. Three of them went out uh, last week. Three more will go out this next week. So we expect over the next two months to have those RFPs out. We'll have answers back probably within a month. They'll start rolling in, and we'll see which, what makes sense to outsource and what doesn't make but sense But you have to a outsource. judge who has said uh, you can't do anything right now. The judge, what the judge basically said is we can't outsource to a private company. We can outsource to a public company until the case is heard. What we've got to do now is, is push that judge to get this case heard to find out what we can and cannot do. This judge has basically said things that cities have always outsourced, IT, um, technical um, issues, all those type of things. They're saying we can't outsource anything, which is against what, what, what's done in other cities in California. So we, we have to get in front of the judge, we have to get the case heard, and we'll be able to outsource to private companies then. He makes it sound easy, Nick. Oh, well, it hasn't been very easy because, you know, six, uh, almost seven months ago, uh, this council uh, gave out layoff notices to, you know, virtually almost almost every uh, employee uh, except for uh, the police. Well, they said that they have to do that because well, of your, your union well, rules. They have no, to no, no, absolutely not. The union rules talk about a six months notice. But what you don't have to do and what you shouldn't do is have a massive layoff before you've even studied the issue, before you know what you're dealing with. The idea in giving six months notice is that the employer were unlegally permissible contracting on and what they've undertaken now we've had two courts basically say, you know, uh, you can't do it. Not only the Superior Court, but the Appellate well, no, Court. The, the Appellate Court didn't they, they, say we well, couldn't well, do it. The, the, the Appellate Court said they would, well, the well, they would not hear well, the case let me, to deal with the trial. Well, they didn't see, say but, we did, couldn't. Well, anyway, you know, good try at interruption to diffuse <laughs> this. But the fact is, the Appellate Court wouldn't even let them come in and argue their case. Right. They summarily denied it because their case was so flaky. It was no. so, it was, it, the case was so flaky, it had no merit. When you have a, an Appellate Court in the state of California, one of the most, you know, uh, open and inclusive judiciaries in the United States, States basically say you can't even come in here and argue your case because your case is flaky. You know, you have a flaky case. The same thing happened when they tried to do that with the deputies' lawsuit. They never got in to argue the case because this is an ideology that it has to do with ideology as opposed to the law. And okay. so when, you, when you're doing something unlawful, you can't just go on and break the law okay. and think you're going to get away with it because you're going to get votes. So, I mean, so, so, so here, here's, 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 the here's the basic and side. So, you know, here's the basic well, I have to interrupt side him again. Right. Because the, the, the city me. councils okay. in okay. California, the cities across the country are all going bankrupt. They and that's have, absolutely They've agreed untrue. to spend money that okay, right. they don't right. have Let over there. Let me see one The state government. The state government. The cities are all going bankrupt. Right here. No way. Just north of us, Santa Ana. Just north of us, Santa Ana came yes. out a week ago. Only the Orange County Register picked it up, and within two months of their new budget, shows that they're 30 million dollars upside down. They went out. Walters, who was the chief of police there, who's now running the city as the interim um, city manager, went out to outsource 16 of their of their departments, including police and fire. They have a bankruptcy on the table, is what he said. Now, I didn't say that. He said that. And no one's talking about it. Costa Mesa basically did what everybody has to do in a 12-step program, saying, we have a problem. And what we've got here is a lot of smoke. We're going to sue you. You didn't do it right. All this kind of garbage. Now, the look, bottom line not, is wait, that wait, the no, citizens no, 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 of Costa no, Mesa no, no, no. want to no, buy no, their no. services from the best And let it misrepresent the facts. The fact is, you want to hear the smoke? Here's the smoke. We're seven months later. The city is still functioning. And I, this, the councilman would tell you it's functioning. Well, but look, this is what they said. In, on March 2nd, 2011, uh, Councilman Righeimer says we're all going to run out of money in this city, so that's why we got to do this. We said that was we March were 2nd, well, and that's seven months later. Yeah, no, wait, that's what he said. No one was what he said. And then he said, 
uh, on March 16th. I've said this before, I'll say it again, the world runs on a clock and a calendar. We have to have a budget ready by July 1st. We have $10 million to $15 million hold to fix, and that was in the daily pilot. Then he said on June 5th, 2011, we have no money in our budget. He told that to Jim, uh, to Steve Lopez. And then on June 21st, he said the city is on the road to insolvency uh, right, because so public employee unions have pressured politicians. Right, so like, how come the, the money hasn't run, run out? Because, yeah. because, run because out. he never finishes the statement. This city council came in and started writing the budget, which hadn't been done before. What I said was, if we continue to go down the path we go down to, we'll run out of money, we won't have it. Okay. What Nick always does is kind of misses it in there. But what we have here is a process that we're trying to get through being sued by the employees to right. stop the process and they wonder why it takes right. long and then they turn around and say fire your attorneys I mean this is like you well, know fires attorneys. They, they say Look. basically fire your attorneys so you can lose you your lawsuit well, he's he's I that. told you I mean here's the facts let's tell the facts this is what he said okay but and it's not true said in his letter and he okay seems to be I think I just heard you say and let me tell you know what's happened in the meantime Let's say what's happened in the what's happened in the this meantime. This is the Nick show. This we'll guy, just, we'll just no. watch the Nick okay, show. Okay, that's good, and it's a good show to watch. And okay. you should have watched it seven months ago. We wouldn't have been show. in trouble. Okay. And here's the thing: the number one, these guys are spending money with both hands. Look, they okay. brought on two public relations right. positions, oh, oh. hundred eighty thousand okay. dollars per year. No. Wait a second. If you're out of money and you're in insolvency, you're going to hire Nick, public. Your point seems to be, and I think I heard you say a moment ago that well, it, no. that there is not a problem. My there, point is, there's always issues that need to be addressed, and certainly in the city, there's an issue right. that needs to be addressed, and we've tried to address it. But you have to address can it lawfully, the, and you can't. Can the budget problem? Budget can the budget problem that Costa Mesa faces be solved without either outsourcing or without significant? Give backs from your. From, They've from already unions. solved it, according to them. They no, put I more money. I asked, uh, uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying absolutely it can be. And 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 the other thing that's important is that we all come to the table and talk. So far, the city has refused to do that. Untrue. Because it's, it's we have, we have right. said, I'm I will it right say here. We'll do it. Right we're right doing it. We're yeah. there and do it. We will sit down and meet with you and talk. We can meet right after. We yeah. can meet this afternoon and we'll talk. You continually say we won't talk. You the won't. city has asked officially many times to talk. They yeah. don't want to go into it until. Because are we making news here tonight? Are, are you two no, agreeing to, to sit down and talk? The, the condition is we have to get rid of the layoffs. Oh, okay. no. Is there we're not going to get rid of the layoffs. You have to get rid of the layoffs. You have to rescind the notices because and we're you can't sit there. So you're laying down a precondition then? Right. Well, of course, this he has a precondition. It sounds like we're negotiating the Middle East here. Here's the one thing that everybody's forgetting about that we don't have. Their precondition is we won't talk to you. We won't talk to you unless we keep the gun to your head. No. They're saying, well, look, you have a gun here's to your head, we'll come and talk to you. I don't see a gun here. Here's well, what I see. You're saying to lay off the entire is workforce isn't a gun to somebody's here head? Here is what oh, the citizens of Costa talk. Mesa... Of here's the gun the citizens of Costa Mesa have to their head. A $221 million unfunded pension liability. No one in the city voted on this bond. Nobody agreed to go into this kind of debt indebtedness. The Orange County Register just did a story that showed Orange County, the entities in Orange County have $8.75 billion in unfunded liability. Basically, 11 years ago, we had a $5 million pension cost. Now we have a 15 or an $18 million pension cost going to $25 million no on a $100 million budget. Right, I'm sorry, we're, we're, we're just about out of time. Nick, yeah. you get the last word. Well, the last word is, of course, there's pension issues, and we've been the leader. Say, well, I'm going to the University of Illinois next week in Chicago to talk about how you work on these things collaboratively. I've been in there's DC nothing talking to, to work on. But of course, there there's things to work. To we work could on. put in all kinds of things, like including. What? Like and, and, what? Hey, Tell me there's, what? Uh, there's all kinds one of. One idea. Uh, Tell us what okay. we can do. Okay, here's one idea. Go ahead. We can talk about the hybrid plan that we put in at the county. That nobody which is, took. That, that nobody the, took. No, they no haven't been able to. Opt. See, here you go. That's the thing like. Okay, no, gentlemen, wait, 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 you, the you can continue this. Take, I would love to have you come on, and you can come on here on this show and negotiate. Okay, I love that. Thank you. I think, as they say, to be continued. Thank you for coming on, gentlemen. They shook hands.